Okay, let's start with the fan brush and I'm going to go into some of the cobalt blue. And these are small areas that I'm working on, but I'm just going to swirl around. And it's mixing with the white underneath. Getting lighter. I just want to put a background up here so you can kind of see how the picture give it a little depth whenever we do the trees. Blend it out. This fan brush can be used as a blender brush also. These are fun, cute little pictures to do. I got the canvas taped off. You peel it off and it gives a different dimension. Let's just put a little cloud up here. These are pretty popular little pictures. Everybody likes them. Blend that a little bit. We can make it a little darker right here. Pull across gently. I'm just barely touching the canvas. Got a simple little sky going. All right. Now then, I'm going to lay that brush down. Go into the brown with the fan brush, number four, or whatever size you want to use. A little bit of the sap cream. Load both sides until the brush looks like this on both sides. I'm not loading it back up in the back of it. I'm loading it right here on the edge so it'll perform correctly for me. Okay, the first idea of this is to hold the brush straight up like this find your spot to touch. You can connect it all the way down like that and just turn the brush sideways like this. As you go down, just move it from left to right, right to left, whatever feels comfortable to you. You have one evergreen just like that. Okay. Over here, let's add just a little bit of light yellow to it, some of the bright yellow, cad yellow. I'm going to tap just like this. Make a few little trees. See that? And maybe they go way off somewhere. Just like that. That'll give us a row of trees, give it a little depth. Maybe there's a few back here. All right, let's load back up with our sap green and our brown. Let's put another tree right here. Maybe it's a little smaller. Now remember, turn, use the corner of the brush, barely touch. That to start with. If that is a little darker, it makes it look like it's in front of that tree. Okay. Let's pull out a little land. All you got to do is pull. Just like this. You can go back with a clean brush up here. Tap in the base of this, make it look like it's far off. Just like we do in the big pictures. in some grass, maybe some grass, live back out in here. This is lighter because it's in the back, so I'm just using what's on the canvas to make it lighter. Okay, back to our evergreen tree. 
Let's add a little blue in with that. Green and brown. Alright. I'm going to bring one right here from the top. Just like that. Now, go to the top. Just dabbing, just slowly. I'll do it slow. See that? Flip the brush over, get more paint off the other side. See there? And you've got one in front. This taller one looks like it's in front of these trees over here. Then you got these background trees, and you just created a small painting. All we have to do is put in some grass in the front of it, and we'll have a small painting. Let's go in with a clean brush, get a little sap green, some of the Indian yellow, and some of the cad yellow. Just tap like this right here. You can put a little rows of grass right over top of that, see that? Now, Let's go over our trees. Let's get that green. Some of the cad yellow. Load it up. Same way it's built. You just go right over top of it. And automatically it looks like it has some highlights. It's like a light shining right on it. We'll hit these just a little bit. Not too much. Just like that. And we can go in here and touch up our trees a little bit. If we see a little spot, I have a little opening I need to touch up right there. Just like that. And that easy you can make evergreen trees. 